Hello, everybody, welcome to the Grim Subject Show. This is a report on, actually, I should call it the Grim Report. From now on, I think that's what I'll call it. Um, you know, Clark Gregg, Greg, whatever, G R E G G, you know, the guy who played Colson. Well, he's talking about, you know, when the humans are joining the, you know, joining Agent Shield. Really? Why? Why then humans? God, this don't make no damn sense. You know, in the season finale, what's her name? Sky. You know, he she looked he looked at, at her as a protege, kind of like a father daughter relationship type thing. Everybody knows that if you watch it, then you know that. If you don't, then where the hell you been on the rock or soul stone? Um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, she's got seismic powers. We know that. I'm just gonna skip it, but joining the group of journalists said on Clark weigh in with the review of Aftershock, the first episode following the series in winter hiatus, and has taken a look at changing dramatics in the weeks ahead, along with the various other thorny dilemmas facing director in the back of half season two. Can you talk about this? Is what they asked Colson. I asked uh, Clark, um, you can talk about, can you talk what, about what the Colson style Sky Dramatic looks like the following forward now Sky has been transformed. Craig, this is what he said. It's really a good question. I really, it's, I think it's really a cool writing choice when I was revealed with the audience and was done in a way where we only really quit, quite know what's going on. She's quarantined and alien by native tech it is in play and don't quite know what's happened and yet something clearly happened and that's really the intense tension the tension tension of the first couple of episodes back in what happened to sky this is one of the things that i've liked most about the season in the relationship that so tightened they end the last season and only more so this season is yet she's risen to a place where she's one of the most efficient agents he has and so he pulls his position where she's a daughter to him she's closest thing to a daughter and bonds them is their dedication to this cause where he as head of shield he doesn't get to be quite as touchy feely as he was season one, he was he has to make great make choices that are simply for greater good. Shields provides which protect protecting the world from the strange, the weird, the line that Joss Whedon wrote in the plot, and it means putting the her in danger situations. And I think it makes him feel very responsible for whatever happened. What is going on with her? So much of shows. They go on and go on and on about more questions and stuff like that, that, that. Um. So a few clips here and stuff like that. I don't want to bore you with all this thing. Bore you with all this bull with this crap, these questions and stuff like that. Basically, it goes on. And he talks about his relationship with Sky, and what is gonna happen with that relationship. That that she's becoming, I guess you could say, officially the humans arrived in Agents of Shield, and will it play a part in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is what I want to know. I mean, because now that Coulson's director of Shield, for now at least, until Fury decides to show his face. His head, you know, for now. But what will go on after, you know, after that? I mean, will the human, will the humans, like I said, will they appear in the next Marvel movies? I mean, will it be the same people who played them in the in this series, or will it be something else? Now, that's what I'd like to know. 
Will they make new characters to play them, or will they keep these guys? Or will they appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? So, it begs a differ. I mean, these humans, they're really, really getting at it where, well, these shows are really getting to the point where, okay, they're putting more and more super-powered people in this show. And, like I said, Fox is interested in the X-Men show earlier, so... Will this turn the tide? Will Marvel start coming back on TV and be better? Unlike the last few, last few times people have tried to bring up Marvel car, comic books into live action, they've actually really sucked. But this one seems to be a really pretty good show. I mean, it's one of Marvel's best ones and it's beaten a lot of people beating a lot of shows here and there, but will it keep it up with this new super-powered bullcrap? Because it was originally people without powers taking on people with powers. Now, I mean, that's now that there's they're bringing the humans in on this, I'm, not, I'm thinking about not watching it anymore because if I wanted to watch something with about people with superpowers, I watch a new Supergirl show that they're going to be making. I don't care about the people with powers. These aren't making the these aren't the people who are making a difference for ordinary people. These are people with superpowers and they're taking on big enemies. Yet yeah, nobody cares. I'm to the point. I'm up to here with them making TV shows about people with superpowers. I don't care. I mean, that's why I didn't watch Heroes. Cause I don't care. I, that that makes me wonder. But if they're gonna do this, pull this bull crap. I'm I'm stop watching it. Period. Be done with it. Cause I don't want more people with superpowers on TV. That's why I watch Arrow. It's an ordinary guy taking on ordinary people. Or Rachel Gould right now as it is. But. That's why I want, that's why I like Batman. That's why I don't like Superman. That's why I don't watch read the that's why I didn't read the X-Men anymore. Um That's why I like the question. That's why I like Batman. That's why I liked most of the superheroes I like is because they're people, almost ordinary people taking on Superpowered beings and winning. That's why in Dragon Ball Z, I didn't pick a, pick a daggum Super Saiyan. I picked a human, ordinary guy going with, you know, powered up, of course, but that's why I don't make most of my heroes, my main heroes, with really super abilities because give it up for the man, for mankind. I mean, we've been here for thousands of years. Why do we need powers to? take on as somebody stronger than us when there's other things that we can do. Use our heads, people. That's why we're number one in the food chain. But like I said, I digress. You think it's going to be a good idea for them to bring the humans in? I tragically do not. Because I'll grow weary of this and sick of this super power bull crap. But, yeah, this is what he was saying. That's what he was talking about. I bid you guys, you know, he's talking more about on uh, what he thinks, what Colson would do. Well, till I get more information on what's going to go on on S.H.I.E.L.D., this is an update. I bid you good luck, good night, peace out.